itself. That would be helpful. Uh, if, if everyone else is uh, good to go, we'll, we'll call the meeting to order. Uh, the first item on our agenda is the approval of the minutes of the March 11th meeting. May I have a motion on this? I move. Thank you, Neil. Can I have a second? Second. Second, second is by who? Sharon. Right, Sharon. Sharon, thank you for that. that we just need to make the uh, notation of the minutes. Sharon made the second. Any discussion or changes on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all. Uh, is that right? Ready? Yes. This is Todd. I'm just going to abstain as I wasn't present. Okay. Okay. Next up, we uh, will note the extension on the approval of the minutes. Next up is our treasurer's report. And we'll ask Karen to give us a quick update. Sure. Um, Jamie's going to go into more in depth with the budget. We had a budget audit meeting, and um, that's further down in the agenda. But uh, the organization is uh, in, in good, solid shape right now up through the first quarter. Uh, total income of uh, 2343515 Total cash and equivalents are uh, $1,801,289. And, um, you know, we have uh, uh, actuals on our pre-development expense of $108,608 um, on a total budget of uh, 455000 So we're, we're in good shape right now. And uh, everything seems to be moving along. Entertain a motion. Motion by Brad. So moved. Second by Neil. Thank you. Any questions, comments? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting the Treasury report say aye. 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 Thank you all. Aye. Uh, we have a number of uh, resolutions and projects to uh, review tonight. The first one is we're revisiting the uh, very important downtown project at 426 Franklin Street. We talked about this last month and we asked Jamie to summarize the uh, public hearing we held and where we are with Seeker and hopefully final adoption of this project. There's uh, two resolutions on the agenda tonight, uh, the Seeker resolution and then the general approving resolution. As Ray mentioned, we did hold a public hearing on March the 6th. We received no uh, comments. No one attended that, uh, that hearing. Uh, with respect to Seeker, you may remember our meeting back in February where Metroplex was looking to be the lead agency on a coordinated review uh, because of the building's proximity to City Hall, which is on the state and federal historic register. Uh, we wanted to get the consent of uh, local and state agencies for our review. Um, so that review has been uh, completed. All the agencies presented to our uh, lead agency. And we think it's especially important to get Seeker right on this project. Uh, it is uh, one of the projects that's been identified in the competition for DRI funding. So if it's fortunate enough to get funded, uh, we want to have Seeker completed and make it easy for state uh, assistance. So that's the first resolution of the project as a whole, as you know, uh, is the renovation of the two-story building at the corner of Franklin Street and, and J Street. It's a nearly $2 million uh, project with Metroplex's uh, participation. It's a $175,000 grant and then exemption from sales and mortgage tax and there will be a pilot as well. We need a motion uh, first on the Seeker Resolution 1399-20. Can somebody make a motion, please? Sharon, I move. Thank you, Sharon. I have a second. Second, Brad. Thank you. Any discussion? Seeing none, we'll call the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 And we. Hi, this is um, Karen. I need to abstain. Great. Okay. We'll note that extension. Any no's? No. So the ayes have it. We'll uh, move on to the second resolution, 1420, to adopt the general project plan. Just want to thank Chris and Brooks Berrigan for going through with the closing on this building. It's a very important building. It occupies that whole block across the city hall on Franklin Street. Uh, they're, they're a good team, a very proven team, done a lot of investment, a lot of development projects, very experienced. And uh, this is just a very, very important building and we're glad to see this project moving forward tonight. So we'd ask for your support. I need a motion on resolution 1400-20. Uh, uh, Sharon. Move it by Sharon, thank you. Second by Brad. Any further discussion or comments? It's a great project. It, it really will beautify that whole section. Thank you, Neil. Yeah, we agree. It's, it's hey, Ray, I do need to abstain. Yep, Karen thank you. 
Thank yep, you. thank you. So with Karen's extension, is everybody else in favor of the project? Please please say aye or nay. Aye. 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 Thank you. And again, we're trying, our goal with this uh, current crisis is to have as many of these projects as we can in the pipeline. So when the construction uh, prohibition is lifted by the state, uh, these projects can move forward, great jobs, help re re reignite our economy. So thank you for your support on that one. Next up, we have uh, resolution 1401-20, dealing with our 2019 audit. I would ask Jamie to summarize. Thank you, Ray. Uh, we had an excellent presentation by our auditors, uh, BST, uh, last Friday at the Fiscal Audit Committee meeting. Uh, the audit itself was went very well this year, thanks to uh, Maureen's uh, help. Uh, and uh, they characterized the audit as, as clean and unqualified, which is what we get every single year. And um, uh, while it's a very long uh, document, you know, the headlines certainly are that uh, 2019 was a stellar year for the authority uh, with record high revenues, uh, tremendous amount of projects that were un undertaken. Uh, so, uh, and our balance sheet is very strong at this point. So, um, uh, we are looking to get this adopted. It is used by our lenders and our bondholders uh, and other folks that are interested in the authority. Thank you. I want to thank Maureen for all our hard work. I can have a motion on this one. So, so Neil, do I have a second? Brad, Bob yes. Uh, Bob Dietrich, we'll, we'll take that Bob Dietrich uh, second. Thank you. Any further discussion by any board members? Yeah, Br Brad, um, Ray, it's Karen. I just wanted to comment on how, um, you know, this, this team did a phenomenal job in a very short period of time, met all the deadlines. Um, you know, Maureen went above and beyond, you know, Bob Crystal does a great job and, and the entire team at Metroplex, this was a, a, a huge endeavor to take on in the midst of this pandemic and I think um, kudos needs to be said to all involved. So thank you, team. Absolutely. Thank you. So we have a motion and a second and, and those um, great recognition of the team for, for getting us a clean audit, a good audit, and it'll be posted on our website. Uh, all those in favor of uh, resolution 1401-20 say aye. 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 Any nays or abstentions? Thank you. Move on to a, a company, SMRT, that is uh, moving uh, to Schenectady. Uh, more good news. Uh, resolution 1402-20 would ask you to summarize. It's a very nice uh, relocation project of a company that's uh, located in uh, Maine, Massachusetts, and New York State. Um, they were very big clients. They're an architectural and engineering firm. They would be uh, uh, leasing over 6,000 square feet on the fifth floor of the of the Center City building, uh, looking to expand from 15 employees to close to 30. Uh, our participation is uh, is relatively well, small with a $60,000 grant. Uh, they had gotten their uh, work started uh, before the uh, before the crisis hit, so um, I'm sure they will be completing it as soon as they are able to get back to work again um, sometime soon. Can I have a motion on this, please? Yes, it's Karen D.W. I'll make a motion. Do you second? I'll second. second Chair. Sharon, thank you. I just, uh, you know, Jamie said this is yet another project now that will be queued up when the construction ban is lifted. Uh, they will resume work. Uh, it's an excellent company. I know when we announced this, Neil had some great comments about, you know, uh, it seems like a, a, a regional leader in, in the Northeast does a lot of good work. Uh, this is, uh, you know, when companies are looking for space, we're very aggressive. This, this fills really the last remaining uh, vacant space in Center City. and. Again, the Center City project has been such a, a huge success, a 200,000-square-foot 200, building, $30 million investment, uh, done with no tenants, and the building is uh, now 100% full and uh, a real uh, showpiece downtown. So we're, we're happy to welcome the SMRT uh, team, and they're very excited to, to come downtown and occupy that fifth floor of the Center City building. Any other comments or questions? And we'll call the question. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Aye. Any aye. abstentions or no's? Thank you. Next, we go to uh, Glenville on Route 50 for a project that uh, we've been working closely with uh, Supervisor Kesley in the town of Glenville on. Bob, uh, uh, we've had a lot of good uh, dialogue with the town and the town planning board. And, uh, 
and the supervisor on this asked Amy to give a quick summary. Yeah, it's a nice, nice little project on Route 50 in the town of Glenville. Uh, Ed Rivetto runs his own uh, design and space planning uh, business, but he's also um, uh, opened up a couple of uh, restaurants, pizza parlors in the town as well. It uh, seems to be very successful. Bought some land uh, in the town, wants to construct a 7,200 square foot building, um, uh, which would have uh, two potential tenants in it. Uh, he's gotten all his local approvals. He's ready to go. Uh, Metroplex's assistance would be in the form of a sales tax exemption, mortgage uh, exemption, and our standard plan. This is a ground up building? Yes. Yep. yep. Let me just get a motion in a second, then we can have discussion. Can I have a motion on this, Bob? Do you want to make this? Yep. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, did you can I second? Second. second. Thank you. Here. Yeah, Neil, it's a 7,200 square foot building. One of the reasons it's important is we're all trying to make the gateways to our communities look better. This is on Route 50, right at the gateway to Glenville, the gateway to Scanty County. It's kind of a forlorn parcel now. So we really had a lot of good input from the town that they really wanted to see this happen. Uh, there, there were some extra costs associated with infrastructure. So we're doing a, a very uh, modest package here that kind of makes the math work you know, for the developer and gets this project going. It's kind of been stuck a little bit and this, this helps make it happen. Uh, just just out of uh, curiosity, just so I can uh, visualize it, what's around, what's on the other side of the street or next door? I'm having a little trouble remembering what's there. Um, there are, it's, it's a commercial strip on Route 50. Uh, one of the one of the reasons that it needs some help is it doesn't have sewer, so you're you're dealing with uh, it's a little more difficult to do development there. Um, there's a stewards up there; they built the new stewards. Bob, you want to say anything else? It's kind of the, it's kind of that commercial strip that makes the transition from Burn Hills, Boston Spa into Glenville. On yeah, there are pizza places right there, right? The, right. Um, yep. I can't think of the name of it, but. Um, but it's his, right? That's his. Yes. Yes. Pizza works. Yep. Pizza works. So it's uh, it's just, and that's what uh, supervisor has, you know, is really focused on some of these corridors in Glenville, the uh, the Route 50 corridor, the Freeman's Bridge Road corridor, trying to make them look more appealing and more attractive, and this is part of that effort. Any other Neil, I, sure. a, I was just going to say, Neil, there's a, like a, a barber shop, I believe, next door. Across the street, and it's near a store. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, any other questions? If not, we'll, we'll call the question on this. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, Next up, we have public comment. Jamie, did we get any? We did ask members of the public to provide any comments via email that we that we would read those comments aloud at the meeting uh, uh, as part of the uh, as the part of the program. Jamie, did we get any comments? We did not receive any. Okay, so we can close the public comment period. Before we go to board comment, I just want to thank the staff uh, and uh, the county and all of you for your support in these uh, very difficult times. We continue to. Uh, uh, play a, a, a lead role and, and, and continue our work. Uh, our work is going to become even more important when uh, the health part of this crisis starts to ebb, hopefully, and uh, we need to repair and rebuild our economy. As you see from the uh, steady stream of things that we email you to you, we continue to um, do deals, announce projects. I think we're one of the few economic development groups that's still doing that. At the same time, we've been sending constant alerts to the business community in Skanky County about the COVID programs that are available to them and helping them apply and assisting them through the uh, bureaucracy of those programs. So we're kind of in a, a two-pronged mode right now, which is to uh, line up as many deals as possible to, uh, to hit when uh, the economy reopens, at the same time helping as many uh, businesses as we can with the banks as our partners and with the county and the city as our partner and the towns to uh, assist companies to take advantage of some of these programs that have been out there. Uh, Jamie, did you want to say something about the budget uh, and any kind of where we are on our, so our forecasts? Uh, yeah, we talked about it briefly at our uh, committee meeting on, on Friday. Maureen and I have been uh, uh, really working on 
uh, updating and revising our cash flows for the year. Um, we've uh, uh, scheduled another the next meeting of the committee on May 1st, and we figured we would have a chance to, to talk to a uh, subset of the board about what we're looking at moving forward. Right now, we're kind of making some guesses in terms of uh, sales tax receipts. Um, we have had uh, uh, the committee did approve some loan forbearances, so we'll have less income on that side. Uh, most of the employees at LAB have been furloughed, uh, but there's also a reduction in parking income. So we want to make all those adjustments and take a look at our budget uh, and start having that discussion at the, at the committee level and see where this is going. Meanwhile, uh, I have been reaching out to a couple of sources at the state to see if we can get some better input on where sales tax is heading in the capital district or Schenectady County specifically uh, with some contacts at the Division of Budget. So hoping that by May 1st we'll have uh, some good updates uh, for the board. And we invite, we'll send the meeting, out, meeting notice out to everybody. Again, we'll do that meeting virtually. And uh, everyone's welcome to participate in those discussions. We're watching sales tax revenues very closely. Again, trying to help our the clients in our portfolio and and uh, really, really be keeping a close tab on expenses and, and other things at this point. Um, any comments from the board on any subject matter? We'd love to hear them now. Yeah, Neil here. I'd just like to comment. There's a lot of organizations around town looking for help. I've gotten all kinds of requests from the Schenectady Foundation, from the Food Bank. And, um, you know, if there's any organizations that, as that we know of that uh, are in need of help, maybe um, uh, you could uh, kind of let us know. And, you know, maybe there's some things somebody's might be able to help a little bit, but there's some people out there hurting pretty badly. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's a tough time for the community and uh, for all communities. And uh, this this uh, this need to uh, make sure that uh, we have job opportunities and uh, development opportunities ready to go is, is uh, it's it's very important, and we want to keep the deal flow going even in these toughest of times, so that we're prepared to help uh, people get back to work. Any, any other members of the board just want to share anything? We welcome your comments. Hey, Jay, I, I, have, I have a question. Uh, it's Karen. The, the project on Eastern Parkway, um, is, is, that, is that under, is that, are they moving on that now? I, I think they can, can't they? Yeah, well, then, then David, can, David, David can speak to this, but we're very fortunate that one of the, the essential business definition did include uh, the, the affordable housing projects that are supported by the state. So we have 90 million, and this is something, you know, as we try to share good news with the community, we hope all of you recognize and, and reinforce with your friends and colleagues is that on Eastern Avenue, on Albany Street, and on Van Rankin, we have a total of $90 million in uh, construction projects that are moving ahead despite the ban because they are housing projects and they are state-supported housing projects through housing tax credits. So we're very fortunate that uh, that those continue to uh, roll forward. David, did you want to add anything on that? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Mark and I are meeting with the developer uh, bi-weekly. They're moving along. All the uh, demolition abatement has been finished. And uh, you know they're they're uh, moving at a good speed, and uh, contractors uh, that would like to work and uh, are practicing all the safety precautions that are necessary through the uh, executive order. So, so we're fortunate that those are still uh, still open. Any other comments? Yeah, Ray uh, and the board. And you know, as uh, the the city comes out of the uh, the winter months, uh, I've seen that there are some organizations around putting some blacktop in some of the big holes. We we have main streets still have some large craters in them and uh, hopefully uh, the city will be able to take a look at them and uh, make them a little bit more easily traveled. I think that came up at the city council meeting on Monday night. So Karen, keep pushing that for us if you can. Yeah, I was, I'm starting to talk and I was on mute. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, yeah, that is that is definitely a priority and that is something that's going to get done. And uh, anyone who's listening in, the city has a tracker that you can you can report any potholes to um, that and on the city's uh, tracker and they'll put them into the queue to get them filled. So um, it's a good it's a good thing. 
it's a good thing that we're able to do this during this pandemic. Any other comments on the board on any any matter of, this, of any matter at all? If not, I raise. I would just say, everybody, keep the faith. We're going to get out of this. It's going to take some time. We've got to bring our city back. Uh, we've come so far in what we've done. And uh, I think with uh, with you guys at the office continuing to push, that's a great sign for the future. And let's keep going. Thank you. I'm well said. Yeah. Everybody stay well. We are planning to uh, have our May meeting as scheduled. The second, I think it's the 13th of May. Um, Pull up the calendar real quick, uh, Jamie. Unless yep, that's it. That's where we're going. So keep yep. that on your calendar. Right now, we'll probably be a virtual meeting. God willing, we'll be back together again soon. Wish everybody uh, safety and health. And uh, we're here. Please don't hesitate to pick up the phone, uh, email us, uh, Jennifer. I really want to thank all the staff, uh, Maureen, David, Jamie. Always as always, uh, Mark. Jennifer is right there, uh, even working at home. I email her and she responds within two seconds and uh, we're able to uh, function uh, uh, at a high level of efficiency because of this team. So thank you very much. I have a motion to adjourn. So Salute. Thank you. Have a great night, everybody. Night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.